All right, Luke 11, verse 34 through 36. Your eye is the lamp of your body. When your eyes are healthy, your whole body also is full of light. But when they are unhealthy, your body is also full of darkness. See to it then, then that the light within you is not darkness. If your whole body is full of light and no part is dark, it will just be as if it will be just as full of light as when a lamp shines its light on you. Hey guys, welcome to your spiritual caffeine where I give you a little dose of the Holy Ghost, a little bit of scripture to get your day started and get you thinking on the Word of God, filling you with hopefully zeal for the Lord and uh, to do the right thing, right? All right, if this is your first time, welcome to my channel. I hope you was hope to consider subscribing and go ahead and uh, tickle the uh, little like button there. And um, please leave some comments for me. Love to chat with you further. All right, now, a little, little, little disclaimer here for anybody who might be under the age of consent. Um, I am going to be talking about some issues that deal with pornography. So, fair warning if you need to get your mom's permission or dad's permission, go get it. Because I want to talk about uh, a proposed legislation that the state of Utah, uh, the governor uh, and one of the representatives there, uh, I can't remember her name now, I, in the description I'll put uh, a link to their contact information. So, if you want to reach out to the governor or the rep to encourage them on this um, or discourage I suppose but whatever um, I'll leave it there um, they are proposing a legislation that would automatically for any uh, cell phone uh, I believe it's just cell phone I don't even think it's anything else right now all cell phones that they automatically have a porn blocker placed on the phone um, so that children who get a phone don't have such easy access to that type of stuff. And it's getting some serious debate going on right now, whether or not, uh, you know, the whole argument of free speech versus child protection. And so here's my, here's my thoughts on this one. One, I just read you the verse here about what you put into your eyes affects everything in your body. What you look at affects you dramatically I mean how many times can you, you watch a movie and it fills you with whatever emotions are in that movie right if it's an adventure music movie you're excited if it's uh, a, a horror film you're frightful uh, you know a romantic one you get all romantic and lusty I mean that's what the movies do they put that they, they convey that emotion and you, you internalize it because you're thinking about it, you're seeing it and thinking about it, and therefore you, you create those emotions within you. Um, which is why I don't watch gory movies. I don't like it. It makes me, doesn't, I don't like how I feel. I don't, don't like the thoughts. And I don't watch, usually watch romantic movies because they always, always nowadays just take it too far. They just can't help but cross borders that I'm not willing to allow into my house. So the Bible is clear that watch what you put inside your head. So today, look, find out what you're looking at and be careful because what you're looking at, you're allowing to come into you and create a thought. You're thinking about it, your thoughts. And those thoughts will turn into emotions and eventually beliefs and actions. And can thoughts, lies through videos, into your head and slowly start changing your belief, you better believe it. You see something off and off, a lie or a truth, you will start to believe it. It's just nature. So be careful what you allow into you. Now, porn has this huge um, debate. I don't think it's a debate Christian wants. I think it's not a debate Christian wants. As far as Christians and non-Christians, I think it's pretty clear if you are, you know, scripture, that porn is not good. It's not good. Now, if you're not a Christian, then porn's just a way to get your jollies. But from a Christian standpoint, it's not good. And there's a million, well, not million, there's a lot of scriptures out there that talk about guarding your heart, guarding your mind. 
Um, Jesus went so far as to say, if you look on a woman to lust after her, you're committing adultery in your heart. Wow. What's he saying? He understands uh, that what you allow through your head and allow it to stay. I'm not saying sometimes you can look at it and see it and go, oh my word. No. But you dwell on it. You're creating seeds in your soul that will produce trees and vines and ultimately fruit that's going to be rotten and terrible. You don't want to do it. The easiest place to stop is to not start. You try Trying to to watch a little bit of porn is like chasing, uh, grabbing a, was it, uh, a tiger by the tail, right? It's gonna, you're gonna lose control. It's just the nature, it's a tough beast, and so the easiest way is to stop it. And this legislature, from my opinion, gives parents one more tool to protect children from stuff that they were not supposed to be introduced to for a very long time. Look, once ch the child grows up and they're a consenting adult, they can on their own choose to engage or not engage in this as practice. That is their freedom and right to do. I don't say it's right or wrong. I don't, I don't say God likes it or not. I'm just saying you, you're an adult, you can make that decision. But children do not have that choice. I have four kids. Um, the youngest is four. I don't let that four-year-old have access to my phone unencumbered. Why? That dude is like very inquisitive. And how do I not know he just put the, if he just pushed the right buttons, you know, he can get onto a browser and should he press the right buttons and combinations? I mean, to be statistically like, I don't know how, but without a filter of some sort, he could potentially get down that route, especially when he's old enough to start putting words together. He can get down there. A filter, a blocker for a kid is a good, good thing. I don't want to introduce my kid to how to build a gun. They're not ready for that. I'm not going to teach my kid how to have access to create a bomb. Yes, I equate the two because the porn takes you down a path that is can be that can be extremely destructive for children. Extremely uh, destructive. Can a consenting adult take it and, and manage it? Again, I'm not agreeing to it, not in a sense, but I'm sure they could. They're not sitting there becoming mass murderers because of it. But we're talking children here. We're talking children having access to it. And so I applaud the attempt. I know that I've done some now some research on it. It seems that Utah, which by the way is hugely Mormon, has been for a long time trying to introduce this type of legislation uh, and different pieces of the puzzle. And I applaud them for continuing to go down of it. Just because everybody in the United States, non-Christian, says porn is absolutely okay doesn't make it right christians we have a voice and we need to make it known it's not okay to have unfiltered access to the kind of things you can get access to not everything is 1930s porn when you have the the ooh la la and they're in a skimpy outfit i'm sure i'm not going to go find it out here but you can find anything on the porn sites these days they're not even hiding it with one or two clicks, no, filters. And that's a good thing. And I think legislations like this should be introduced and Christians should rise up and say it should be. I mean, truth of the matter is, yeah, even in their own proposal, the filters automatically put it on and the parent gets the code to, to automatically switch it off. So if the parent doesn't want it, all they do is put the code in and it's gone. But at least the parent has the, the knowledge that when they give a kid a phone, it automatically has a filter, a blocker on it. So the kids aren't automatically introduced to it. Now, until the meantime, parents, there's other filters that you can purchase and get on there. It's one extra step, but it's well worth the extra step to prevent your kids from stumbling onto things that they should not be introduced to at such a young age. Your eyes are important, extremely important. So today, let's be a little bit more on guard about what we're allowing our eyes to see. And I'm not just talking the porn realm, I'm just talking about anything that um, can be detrimental to your soul. I'm not saying ignore history. I'm not saying ignore reality. Sometimes you gotta face reality and it's tough and you gotta look at it square in the face and deal with it. But there are a lot of things that are, that are you know, especially entertainment wise, that you don't have to engage in. All right, let's go ahead and pray. Father, I thank you for today. I thank you for your word that you've given us the privilege of, uh, of, of, of guarding 
this tremendous blessing thing called our eyes that we can see things and help us to take the responsibility seriously not to allow just any old thing into our eye gates. Help us to protect it. Help us to guard it. And Lord, I do pray for our politicians that they would have the courage to introduce strong legislation to protect our kids, to protect um, our, uh, the, one of the most vulnerable uh, demographics, our young ones who don't know about such things and don't need to be introduced to ideas this early in life. That's no, 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 no. Lord, I pray you would give them courage and the fortitude to do it. Give the judges uh, the boldness to make good cause, to rightly make judgment, to rightly make judgment, to protect our kids. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hey guys, if you hung around till now, thank you so much. I hope you got blessed. I hope you got uh, a little bit more information. Uh, once again, by all means, I got links in the bottom, by the way, to the articles uh, about this. Links to um, the, the governor and the, the representatives who proposed the bill. So you can go and encourage them. And until next time, God bless.